Well, you all want to see my kitchen today. This is actually Memorial Day, and I'm going to be busy in the kitchen. So, <laughs> I want to show you some parts of my life that are not so clean and organized. These are all things I have to do today and tomorrow. So, I have a lot of bananas. I'm making banana bread to freeze. That's in this thing. Some more of this meat. So, I'm frying up this meat and canning this. And this is going to be what we're going to have for a crock well, pot. Well, looking out today. my front door, this is what I woke up to this morning. So we had a nice shower, but that makes me have to change my plans on my crock pot Wednesday. I was going to have it in the sun oven. I got my all-American sun oven out, and I was going to make a crock pot meal in the sun oven. Well, they were calling for sun, but they got it wrong this time what again. What the kitchen look like? I got everything done and I'm just finishing up cleaning up my kitchen. Behind me is the food that I canned and I will share with you in more detail what all it was and all of the things I'm able to make with it. But I really wanted to sit here and just say one small little thing about yesterday's video. I try to explain myself clearly but sometimes people don't get quite everything I say. It's important when you watch a video that you watch the whole video because a few people didn't understand what I was saying. So I'm going to share with you. The food that I received was leftover food that after everybody got what they needed, this was what was left over. And this food was going to be thrown away from what I was told. So I'm not taking any food from anybody that is needy. I don't need to go and get this food but this is what was left over and if it's left over and it's going to be thrown away I will gladly go and I will gladly glean from it and use it so I hope you understand a little bit and most of you did but I just want to clarify that you know we have a garden and I raise a lot of my own food but if I know something is going to be thrown away I'm very prudent I'm a very prudent person. I will go and I will glean from it because you just never know when you're going to need it. And I hate seeing food go to the landfill. And I'm going to show you in tangible ways how the food that could be going into a landfill is going to feed me for zero amount of money. Now I have a very low income. In fact, my income is probably lower than some of the people that go there to get food but I am self-sufficient. In other words, I try to take care of myself with my own means and I can because I have area where I can grow food and not everybody has that but whenever there's extra food that nobody else wants or they went through and got what they needed I will be more than happy to get it and this is what my video and my channel is going to take a little turn with cooking because I'm going to share with you food that is made from food that would generally be thrown away. One other thing, I'm not against dumpster diving. In fact, you know I done it. But if you get food like this, it probably would be just a little bit of a safer alternative to dumpster diving. By any means am I against it. As you know, I like to glean food. It's just when it's in the summertime and it depends on where you go, you have to be really, really careful. This was the food that I got left over from the community pantry. This is 20 jelly jars of strawberry and rhubarb jelly. Now this jelly is a little bit thin but it will set once it's in the refrigerator for 24 hours. You can use this for all kinds of things. Also, this is the ground beef. This is the ground chopped steak. I got this. Now this is the second batch so I have 14 quarts of this. It was frozen and it almost looked a little bit freezer burnt, but it wasn't once you add the onions and all of the stuff to it. All of this food, my friends, is food that could go to waste. And you're going to be seeing in the next weeks all kinds of things we're making. So let's get started in our crock pot meal because today is using some of the leftover meat that I got at the pantry. Okay, so now we're going to get started. It's called Mexican goulash. Now, because I'm not adding some of the spices, maybe you want to call it Tessie's just goulash, but I'll share with you the recipe. So the first thing, 
all of this food here it came from my pantry almost all of it in fact everything is from my home canned pantry except for the olives so I think you will enjoy this everybody says Tessie we like your cooking but can you show us things that you make using all of your canned food well today is your video because I'm going to share with you pretty much everything is in my canned food so the first thing it calls for is basically you're just going to put everything in this crock pot and then you're going to turn it on high for four hours or low for eight so I'm going to get started here the equivalents are going to be a little different because I have home canned food it calls for is one and a half to two pounds of ground beef I had this meat that was left over from the meat I canned that came from the pantry so I'm going to put all of this meat in here and then it calls for two onions and one green pepper well I sauteed my meat with the onion and pepper so I think that would be just fine then it calls for a 28 ounce can of whole tomatoes cut up so I'm going to use my stewed tomatoes and I'm going to use two pints of that then it calls for 14 and a half ounces of some green beans I know that my equivalents are about the same and that's okay I'm basically just putting in what I have as you see look at all the empty jars every single thing that I'm using here I have a video on and I will try to make sure that video is in a link above me or at the end of my video then it calls for 15 ounces of the Mexican corn I only have regular corn so I'm putting regular corn in Then it calls for 15 ounces of kidney beans. And then it calls for 6 ounces of tomato paste. So it's probably about, a, I think it's about a half of this. Now you're supposed to eat this with tortilla chips and with shredded cheese and sour cream. I don't have any tortilla chips, so I'm going to see once how it tastes. And I was thinking about putting some noodles in it. I know some of you would think that's a good idea and some of you think it would. Like the small macaronis in it. I'm thinking of doing that. We'll see. I don't need to do that to the very end calls for a teaspoon of salt which seems a little high to me so I'm gonna go with a half a teaspoon this is the Himalayan salt that I got at the Dollar Tree Dollar Tree Dollar Tree is a good resource for cheap food and then it calls for one tablespoon of chili powder you know what I'm gonna go with the full tablespoon because I don't have any of the hot peppers or anything like that in it so we're going with the full tablespoon and then a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper and that's it and then one last thing it calls for is four ounces of the black olives that are cut up. So I'm going to cut these up and put these in. Now I have to tell you, I did taste this. I'm very surprised. It is so delicious. Even just using some of the things that I used, you know, I didn't use a jalapeno or anything like that. And in all due honesty, it doesn't need any of the noodles. 
Now the noodles would probably stretch your meal so if you had a large family if you put a handful of the noodles in it it would really stretch it but I really wanted to show you close up what it looks like. I'm quite surprised. So it is really really good like really good. <laughs> I think you know by now when I say something is good and when I say something is really good, like I would make this once a week, no problem. It's amazing. I think it's because it has the green beans in it and the corn in it. It's just really good. I hope you give it a try. Mmm. That's really good eating. everybody. We'll see you guys tomorrow. I hope you give it a try. Let me know if you do. I love hearing all of your updates on the food that you make after seeing one of my videos. It makes my heart glad.